The capital of the Faroe Islands, Torshaun, has only 18,000 inhabitants. But it's not the placid rural paradise it appears to be. The islanders are tough and fiercely business savvy, especially where fish are concerned. Like the JFK company. When it ran into problems with the EU over quotas and Brussels banned imports of Faroe Islands herring and mackerel, the company had to respond quickly. A lot of its sales were made in the EU. We, of course, want to have a free trade agreement with you, but it's not necessary. You can sell the fish other places. And at that time, we sold to Russia, to Nigeria, to China, to Japan. The EU's sheer size and proximity made it a worthwhile market for the pharaohs. But the herring embargo had barely been lifted before the 18-island archipelago was asked to support the EU's sanctions against Russia. Even though they are not EU members, the Faroe Islanders said no. Fish exports are their lifeblood. In Faroe Island, we speak about 90 percent of our, our value. So, so our society will be, it will be a, a, a very, very drastic hit for us as a society economically if we again, after four years, after we have been building new markets due to the embargo from EU, again should be hit up, uh, of this situation. So we choose to, uh, to, to stick with, 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 uh, with those who have been uh, friends with us when we were in, 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 in trouble. Trade Minister Dahl is referring to Russia. The pharaohs have only just opened a representative office in Moscow. Faroe Islands companies sold Russia over 140 million euros worth of fish last year, more than any other country. The Russians are especially fond of farmed salmon. Faroe's companies produced 70,000 tons of it last year. And Russia is buying increasing amounts from there, especially because countries like Norway are supporting the EU sanctions. In 2012, in some periods, our total revenues into this market were around 20%. Um, and today, with this uh, crisis, we are maybe around 30 percent. So it is, uh, of course, an, an important part of our operations. Russia has proved to be a loyal and lucrative trading partner for the Faroe Islands, which depend entirely on fish to survive. The massive EU came away with a black eye the last time it embargoed the tiny Faroe Islands. This time, it hasn't even attempted to challenge the islanders over their booming business with Russia.